That's right, it's that time of the year for Apple's October event, which is probably the last event of the year, so there are a lot of things we predict, and especially iPads. So, I'm Jaime Rivera. This is Pocket Now, and these are our top five predictions of what to expect for Apple's October 22nd event. Number five is some minor enhancements to iOS, probably iOS 7.1 or 7.0 something. Mainly the reason why is because a lot of people are complaining of reboots on the iPhone 5S, which I am actually having that problem with my unit. So it could be that Apple is going to deal with those tweaks. But other than that, we do see that iOS 7 is not really prepared for the iPad. We said it in our previous hands-on videos. It does seem like if everything is kind of bloated, even on Apple's own applications, and it just seems that Apple did not enhance iOS necessarily for the iPad and mainly for the iPhone. So we expect iOS 7 to grow up a little bit in this event and probably focus more on how to take advantage of the extra canvas of the iPad, though obviously this could just be up in the air. Number four is some Apple TV enhancements, and even though we don't really cover the Apple TV here at Pocket Now, it is one of the best accessories for the iPad and the iPhone as well. So we are expecting Apple to bring up a new generation Apple TV, and we've even seen some leaks of Amazon already teasing that this will happen. So probably we're not just expecting a software update, we are expecting a new device to be announced. And the question is exactly how does the Apple TV plan to compete with the Chromecast at just 35 bucks for a unit that you currently pay $100 for? Obviously a lot is in stake and a lot of competition is in stake, so Apple really needs to raise the bar here. And let's see what we get with this new iOS accessory. Number three is a new iPad mini, but this is probably going to be just an incremental upgrade. We do expect Apple to keep the same design because there's obviously Cycle 2. Now obviously we are kind of conflicted as to what to expect. Some leaks say we get a retina display, some leaks say we don't. Some leaks say we get Touch ID, some leaks say we don't, and then we have the iPhone 5C, which is the budget iPhone without Touch ID. So we really don't know what to make of Apple's iPad Mini 2 or whatever they're going to dub it because we were kind of disappointed with the first generation iPad Mini up to the point where a lot of people didn't really buy this product or just focused on buying it for their kids and not really as the high-end product that Apple envisioned it to be. So hopefully this is not going to be the budget iPad. We'll see what happens. But obviously the iPad 2 must go away right now. So we'll see how that plays out in the end. Number two, we're expecting a new iPad. And we still don't know if we should call this the iPad 5 or a new iPad, but we are expecting Apple to set the bar with this tablet. But obviously that has to go beyond just the design of the iPad mini on a bloated chassis or Touch ID, which is another rumor. We are expecting that A7 64-bit processor to make it to the iPad 5, but the question is, will it really be able to do more for the iPad 5 than just be a gimmick as we've kind of seen on the iPhone 5S? We're expecting it to probably allow more professional applications and hopefully more RAM because in the case of the iPhone 5S, you don't really get to do much and applications really don't seem different on the iPhone 5 or in the 5S. So hopefully the iPad 5 differentiates with this processor in some way because obviously Windows tablets aren't really popular right now, but they will be in the future with Windows 8.1. So iPads have a lot at stake right now. They have to grow up into being more than just an extended version of a smartphone. And hopefully that will be the case for this iPad 5 though. Let's see what we get. And our top number one prediction for what to expect for Apple's October 22nd event is one more thing. And sadly, we don't know what that one more thing is. We've got rumors of an iWatch. We've got so many rumors of even an Apple TV, you know, an actual TV that could be announced. Though we still don't know exactly what we're going to get at this event that could be new. Tim Cook has really not been famous for a one more thing deal like Steve Jobs was. But Apple really needs to show us something much better, something ground changing, a new product. because a lot of people have been disappointed with their 2013 lineup as so has been shown in their stock price. So that leads you to the question of this top five. What do you believe will be that one more thing? In my particular case, honestly, I do believe that if we're not getting a smartwatch, we'll probably at least get a teaser of what Apple is planning to launch, hopefully in early 2014. But sadly, that's not like Apple. Other people predict that it'll be the Apple TV and that the small set-top box will grow up. But leave us a comment down below. What are your predictions for this event? That's it for our top five. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you leave us a comment down below with all your specifics and predictions on what you expect to see at this event. You can also follow us on social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You're going to follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you for our live coverage of the event because obviously there will be a lot to discuss.